Hello and welcome to another Low Tech video. I'm Scott Johnson with the Low Technology Institute. Today we're talking about bees wrap. And this is basically a piece of cotton fabric that's been impregnated with beeswax, pine resin, and jojoba oil to make an alternative for cling wrap. That way we don't have to keep throwing away this plastic product and we can still close up our open cans, half used vegetables, and bowls. So to make this, I melt beeswax in a double boiler. And for every square foot of fabric that I'm going to be making, I add 15 grams wax, 11 grams pine rosin, and two grams jojoba oil. The wax makes the fabric waterproof. The rosin makes it sticky, so it clings like cling wrap, and jojoba oil helps keep everything nice and flexible. You can get uh, jojoba and pine resin online. You can get beeswax from uh, local beekeepers or your own hives if you keep them. I guess you could get your own pine resin uh, if you wanted to tap pine trees, but that's quite a process and I just prefer to buy my own. It takes a little while to get it all melted and the pine resin has a higher melting point, so it does take a little longer to get it all to be one homogeneous uh, liquid. But once it is, you can lay out the fabric on a parchment paper uh, on a cookie sheet. Make sure it has a rim so that the wax doesn't melt uh, and fall off into your oven and make a fire. And simply lay down each piece of fabric and coat it with a brush uh, with the mixture. This brush is only gonna be used for this because it does become pretty saturated in there and unable to be cleaned out. But you can do as thick a stack of fabric as you like. Uh, it will get on both sides of the fabric uh, from the melting that it's going to do when you pop it in the oven at about 175 degrees or whatever the lowest setting is on your oven. And it sits in there for about five minutes. After which uh, you can flip the whole thing over or you can do what I like to do and make a little burrito, rolling it uh, over and over. And this helps really work the wax, resin, and jojoba oil mixture through every fiber to make sure everything is fully coated. Now the ratio that I quoted you before uh, for each square foot of fabric, 15 grams wax, 11 grams rosin, and 2 grams jojoba oil uh, is enough to fully saturate. I did a test to see how much would fully saturate the fabric and that was the ratio that I came up with. Then it goes back in the oven for another 5 minutes. Then. Uh, to finish it up, you simply take it out and unroll your burrito, uh, lift up a piece at a time, uh, wave it in the air just to let it cool down a little bit, that's all it takes, then you can handle it with your fingers, and hang it up on a clothesline to dry, or to uh, congeal really. Be careful that it doesn't touch itself or a neighboring piece uh, because then it can kind of stick together and create a not very clean surface. So just make sure it's not touching itself or others and let it dry for about five minutes and then it's done. You can then use it right away. And again, uh, it will stick like cling wrap and especially in the beginning when the pine, pine rosin is really fresh, it, it is a little sticky but that wears down. After about a year, you can redo this process with about half of the amount of mixture uh, to reinvigorate it. Uh, but yeah, use it just like cling wrap on everything but meat and soft cheeses. Everything else uh, can be put on these. It's easy to clean with cold water and soap and a scrubbing action. They're wonderful. I, I really have enjoyed using them and highly recommend them. It's a fun project. Make them on your own. Thanks for watching. We have all kinds of videos on our YouTube page and our website, lowtechinstitute.org. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.